I'm Chris Lau from Group 4 and we are going to present you the Genting Group Bahai. So Genting Group Bahai is actually a very famous company in Malaysia and it was founded in 1965 and pub successfully be public listed in 1971. So Kurt, Genting Group Bahai, what we meant is actually comprises of Genting Malaysia Bahai, Genting Plantation Bahai, Genting Singapore Limited and also their subsidiaries like Genting Energy Limited and also Resort World Las Vegas Liability Limited Company. So for strategy business unit of uh, Genting Bahai is also include of leisure and hospitality, oil pump, power generation, oil and gas, property development, and also the life sciences and biotechnology activities that they are actually looking into. And what are the firms? So first question is what are the firms most important external opportunities and threats? Is that for opportunities, the first opportunity we identify in terms of political is that government is very supportive and there is a very high large volume of tourism promotion initiative by the government. So with that, the government actually uh, launched the Tourism Malaysia Integrated Promotion Plan 2018 to 2020 and also there is also Malaysian Tourism Promotion Fund or, from, or more from commonly called Gamelan and also Tourism Infrastructure Fund which further actually catalyzes the development of tourism infrastructure and also Malaysia Tourism Award serves as a rec reward and recognition for uh, for, a for all the industry players and next the next opportunities we identify is that there is very high energy demand in China. So China is currently the world largest energy consumer, which amounting to twenty two percent of um twenty two percent of the world energy usage. And with that, there is also annual growth of one point one percent in energy consumptions. And also with that, Gunning Bahad will exploiting the benefit and this opportunity by actually start building. Uh, coal fire or power plant phase two in Fujian China, namely Meizhou One. And besides economically, in terms of social, there is also a growing wealth of Asian population, which um Gunting Bahad can actually exploit it on. First of all, uh, because Asian population is actually making our sixty six percent of global middle class population and also fifty nine percent of global middle class consumption. When Gunting Bahad has broken focus of putting the focus into Asia, it will definitely exploit it the opportunities of growing wealth for Asian population. Next is that there is also increasing technological advancement in tourism industry. For example, uh, government actually launched uh, Malaysia Smart Tourism 4.0 initiative to in line with the industry revolution 4.0. And it's also expected that there will be uh, 12.3 billion expansions, uh, expenditure just from Chinese tourists by the year 2020. And with that, Gending Bahad exploiting the benefit of technology by actually applying big data analytics and also social media integration to provide more customized tourism package to our China uh, to our tourists and also the potential tourists and with that uh, one of it is that there is also a launching of augmented related tourism Malaysia Tourism uh, Hunt as such where there's an app for them and the government actually implement the mandate where B10 biodiesel and B7 biodiesel should be used in the transportation sector and industrial sector respectively. With that, if with that, Baha should also exploit in this mandate, and there is also because of this an increasing local demand for biodiesel. And the threat that Gandhin Baha will be faced will be encountered is that. Uh, there will be a diplomatic fallout between Malaysia and India. Recently, uh, the Prime Minister actually accused India for invading and occupying Jammu and Kashmir region. And if it further trigger uh, India's informal boycott on Malaysia, palm oil. And when Malaysia actually refused to extradite Zakanai, it also further trigger India to propose an increased import duty on Malaysia's palm oil product to 50%. So the next threat that Gandhin Baha is actually facing is that there's a very weak demand for residential property because housing market is actually priced beyond the affordable range of mass population in Malaysia. And there was also an increase of 3.1% of house price index, which which further reflecting in the weak purchasing power of Malaysian um, in this era. So the third threat that Gandhin Bahad is facing is that there is a very common negative perspective towards casino activities which is being claimed it destroyed the indiv individual character, it rots family, forbidden, it was forbidden in religious aspect and also it creates wide range of social economic impact. For example, criminal rate might be increased as well. And in terms of legal wise, 
there is also a very high tax imposement uh, imposed by the government. So specifically, it is actually about 35% of casino duties, 30%, and also 100 million in terms of license fee and, and yearly 50,000 uh, dealer license fee as well. So uh, the last threat we identify is that the other threat that uh, the last threat that Gunting Bahai is facing is actually negative environmental impact of oil palm plantation, which for every oil palm plantation, it also uh, triggers deforestation and also causing loss of wildlife. Uh, but apart from that, air pollution happens, create a haze and also further associated with health risks as well. And these two aspects actually resulted in the ban of European Union in their biofuel program from uh, banning palm oil from and from being using in their biofuel program. So uh, yeah, there's basically our the opportunities and threat we identified for Gunting Berhad. And the, this is the EFE table with an EFE score of 3.15. Thank you very much.